we have the Kentucky accent here. Is there another option? <laughs> you know? There's not. There's not because bourbon only comes from Kentucky. <laughs> I'm, I'm already recording. Oh, yeah. All right. So, there we nice. go. Right. So, right. so, you know, bourbon is just like a champagne and other things like that, right? It, Do I know it, that? You it, tell me that every time well, well, whiskey well, well, comes up. Well, and and now, now, it's on, now, now it's on tape. Now it's official, yeah. <laughs> not, but it is, it is um, something to start with from starting with something that uh, really can kick us off here. So cheers. <laughs> cocktails cheers to everybody cocktails out there. with carriers. Cocktails and, uh, with carriers. Thank you for joining us today on the Alliance Group podcast. And uh, it is our pleasure to have Michael Harden from American National here with us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And in honor of his uh, Kentucky upbringing, we're, we're doing this with, with a bourbon um, from that's, his uh, homeland. And, and we're not doing anything else that's... No, 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 no. We're keeping the rest of the Kentucky... Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, keeping yeah. the rest of the Kentucky at least, out of it, right? Least, yeah, not out in the open anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we, if you hear laughing in the background, we also have uh, our, our, our uh, Grand Poobah, uh, Lee Duncan, over here in the background as well. Right. So, Cheers. <laughs> So we wanted to talk today with Michael Harden about all of the exciting new things that are happening with Anico. Um, and for those of you that are new to Anico, um, I really encourage you to take a look because it is um, a really uh, interesting company from the standpoint of they do a lot of things that other companies don't do. And they do them very well. And they, uh, it's a new, um, some new opportunities and new things you can bring to your, to your clients. To your, to your clients, right. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, just to start off on a couple of those things. Well, before I, I have a couple couple things that I know that I really like about Anico, but is there anything brand new that maybe that, that we don't know about that's coming? And well, well, everybody really really wants to know because if you don't keep up with it now, the merger, you know, our merger just closed, you know, May twenty fifth. Yeah. Right? And uh, now we're part of Brookfield Asset Management, which is a uh, seven hundred twenty five billion dollar asset management company. Right. And uh, they have a history of buying companies, uh, and they merge with us now, which means they're not messing with management, they're not messing with locations, they're, you know, uh, and rolled us into their organization, right? So, so they're truly there backing us because they uh, want us to be their entry into the U.S. insurance market. And they actually said to my uh, EVP, they said, we want to dominate the market with American National as our lead company. And so all the things we're going to talk about – uh, we're expecting uh, improvements in virtually every area of the, of the company going forward now, right? Which is which is extremely exciting because a lot of times when mergers like that happen, is it's not necessarily a good thing, right? And in this situation, from everything that I've heard and from the messaging from top top down up, up, up bottom every way around, is that um, you're getting a lot of new tools and they're infusing oh. money and they're they're saying we want to do these new things. We're we're the third leg under. <clears throat> what's the, what they call BAM, so Brookfield Asset Management, BAM Reinsurance. Mm -hmm. They've got a Canadian annuity company. They've got another little reinsurance company. And then when they're structured, they have us third leg under that. And uh, like I said, they want to be in the insurance. They, they call it the protection business in the U.S. And they they think we are their, their pathway through that. And so they're not only bringing their expertise in running, you know, running the company from a financial standpoint that way, but – uh, put, they're putting their money where their mouth is, is what they're doing. Right. So the, the great thing, and the way I see it from an outsider looking in, is the standpoint from the standpoint of took a great company and gave it a lot more breath, a lot more, yep. um, a, a lot more backing behind them. Yep. So, so Anico has been around for a long time, top rated, um, has done things the right way, mm -hmm. very conservative. Yep. Um, and and with that, it seems like we're going to have some more horsepower behind us going forward with the marketing, with the products, with the interest rates, with all kinds of different things. All kinds of different things. You're going to see uh, the products uh, lifting up the lid and uh, repricing some of the products in the fall. Uh, you're going to see, well, you've already seen the interest rates on the yeah. annuities. You're, you're aware of those. Right? Yep, yep. And uh, they're staffing, you know, staffing for what they want the growth for. They know what they have to do. They, they you know, looked at us before they, they merged, they did the merger. And so they know exactly what they're doing and they're bringing it. Yep. One of the first things I've seen where Anaco's really uh, gravitating towards the top is with the uh, no-lapse guarantee products. In a time where right now a lot of carriers are pulling their products off of the table, yep. won't mention which ones those are, but some of the really prominent carriers right now, lately, the last month or so, have started pulling their no lapse guarantee products off of the table, where Anico is pushing theirs to the front of the table. Okay. Well, and and not only is the Anico Signature Guarantee UL unique, 
but it is priced super well. But it, but the unique part is what is exciting to talk about. And, and can you kind of hit some of those bullet points, Michael, is what makes that different than everybody else's uh, no lapse guarantee product? Well, uh, yeah, like, like, like you said, no, uh, out, we've got a, uh, an actuary, Jack Simon, right, who came to us when, you know, interest have ticked up a little bit recently now. So you, you can maybe price a product a little better, but p- the companies are still getting out of the, the marketplace, right? Yep. And then Jack came to us in sales and said, we can put one of these together and we can put it together the right way to make it work. Right. And so even with this pricing coming out, when the worst of interest rate times, which is what matters to these products a lot, uh, we brought it out and put the return of premium in it and automatically baked it in. So, you know, I've got a, I think I showed it on the last uh, Alliance uh, webinar. We went through some of the products and showed all the, the, the grid of where we are number one in the, just in the marketplace for all the different, you know, male, female, and all the different things yeah. for the price. And it, automatically comes with that ROP and a lot of carriers you have to buy that on top it's yep. an extra price and automatically with the living benefits there bingo that's, right. a, that's, that's the, the thing yep. right and other carriers have they try to copy living benefits a lot of carriers do yeah. especially when they make them a la carte mm-hmm. and by the time you add theirs on then the price goes up a little bit and you add in the ROP eh, they just they press themselves out of the out of the marketplace and so they may as they really may as well pull them because nobody's selling it anyway if, when you do it that way yep. yeah and having it all put together with the ROP, with the um, living benefits mm-hmm. built into it, yep. and with all of uh, with the, with everything else that the backing of uh, American National and their commitment to it, yep. it's a no brainer. It's it's uh, yeah for folks that want to work in that marketplace now and are using that product for it. It's uh, if you're not looking at it, then I don't know why it's not on your on your spreadsheet or on your on your illustration software yeah. or whatever you're using. Now. I don't know why, right? You know, uh, there's some unique sales opportunities with that product, too, from the standpoint of that return of premium. And Mm -hmm. for those of you that aren't familiar with how it works is um, in the 15th year, you can actually surrender the policy and get 65% of your premiums back. If your face amount's over 250, then that number is a is a 65%er, right? Yep. And at um, year 20 and 25, you can get 100% of your 100% premiums back. 100% of your money back, right. So who does this really fit for? You know, maybe, you know, a lot of times we're talking about college savings. Mm-hmm. And let's say you have, uh, you know, a, a newborn, and you need the insurance, and you also need to pay for college. Yep. And here's a way you can you can put that money now that you're not nothing is dependent upon uh, cash value growth or anything, but you get all your premiums back, and it might be enough to pay for part or all college. Turn under the policy yeah. and get your money back. Yeah, and, and it's it's all it's all return to premium too right. at that point. If you if you yep. if you have if you don't have a need for the insurance any longer. Right. There's not worrying about surrendering it early or making it a withdrawal or your loans becoming taxable or any of that. It's just here's your here's your money back now. So, so it's really arduous and difficult to write one of these policies, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it, it, it's so tough that we've included it in our quick quoting software with our term insurance. <laughs> right, that's where I was going with it. It's, it's really super and it's it's the illustrations. Everything's really simple because basically it's a dial a lifetime term. It's a dial lifetime term is what it yeah. is, right? 95, 100, 105, or 121, choose your age, and premium never changes. Nothing ever changes about it at all. It's just, and it's, there it is, right? You know, I was, yeah. it was, I was talking to uh, a client and agent the other day about a case, and uh, we were comparing to somebody else, another product that had a guarantee that was guaranteed to 120. And uh, we matched up. Um, we guarant- I showed them illustration with Anico guaranteed to 120, and we, we, were, we were priced better. But then I said, um, you know, the reality of it is I, w- I want to ask both of you, how many people do you know that are 120 years old? Right. How many people do you know that are 105 years old? You don't. Right. You don't. So if we dial that down to 105, you're going to save another 2000 a year. Right. Plus with the living benefits that the other one doesn't have. Yep. Plus the return of premium if things change right. option. So why wouldn't you write this? Well, and, well, yeah, right, why wouldn't you write it? And, and the only thing I can come back with, especially, you know, working here is folks sometimes like that uh, cash value little component on it that that doesn't have, right? Mm-hmm. And so we've got that uh, protection IUL that you can dial in wherever you want the death benefits guaranteed to and have the little nest egg, you know, tax-free savings amount in that too as well. You know, the other thing too is I think it's interesting how the perception of clients and agents even – that they think, well, I, I have a life insurance policy. There's nothing that says you can't have more than one that does different things. It does Well, we talk about that, and so does Alliance here talk about that, about the different baskets of eggs and having two policies. And <laughs> I always laugh, Steve, with folks because you know, people are like, well, you know, there's all this added cost for having two policies. And I'm like, 
Well, you mean the sixty dollars <laughs> <laughs> for all the flexibility that it gives yep. somebody? It's like it's like you're worrying about sixty dollars of yep. you know five dollars a month for to have different Another flexibility year. and options to do with your policies. <laughs> Another year, the kids don't get shoes. <laughs> oh, I know. Another year, right? Right. right. So it's you just get, you get shoes for sixty bucks. I somewhere? know, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> what <Well>, goodwill? <laughs> okay, so good we work. go close shop. That's where we go. Right, yeah, good. So you know, <laughs> he told us to be uh, to bring some levity to this, and I'll tell you a funny story. Is <clears throat> when we were when we were young, my kids grew so fast that my wife would always get T-shirts and summer clothes for them at the at the at the goodwill place, and because you know they they would what's perfect. He, he would pull out he'd wear out jeans in in a three days in the knees. And so that's what he was used to. <laughs> and so family reunion, my, my youngest at the time, he was like seven or eight, sees my uncle. My uncle's wearing a T-shirt for a marathon he just ran. And my, my seven-year-old son, Paul, walks up to him and says, Uncle Tom, did you get that shirt at Goodwill or did you really run that marathon? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, can get, you can get some cool stuff. <laughs> right, right, right. So um, mom, mom put me in buckskins. Uh, does, does anybody, nobody's probably old enough to know what buckskins are. Right. Lee's smiling real yeah. big, but, <laughs> right? So, so buckskins were Sears jeans, version of the jeans, and they had these. I don't know. It seemed like they were tough skins or something. Oh, too. tough skins! They were what tough they were. skins. Tough yeah. skins. Okay, yeah, yeah. so you know. <laughs> well, they also Sears had a husky section. No. So <laughs> that's where my mom shopped for me at the yeah. husky section oh, and the tough skins. Big reinforced knees, yeah, right. so we didn't wear them out. Right. 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 Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, yeah, we. That's you know, what we, I grew up on. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, we can take this on. Maria, Maria, money. You know, is from Spain, and her, um, she had a live-in um, help at the house growing up in Spain. Right. And uh, we were over in Spain one time talking about um, <laughs> how hard it was, you know, in the 70s, and, and, and people had a hard time. And when we came home from school, we put on our play clothes. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School yeah two clothes sets of clothes. Yeah. yeah, right. And, uh, and I said, yeah, and when you got a hole in your jeans, your mom would sew a patch on them. Yeah. And Maria says, you know, I, it was just like that in my house. When I got a hole in my jeans, my mom would tell um, <laughs> <laughs> would tell the help to sew to patch on the jeans. We all looked at her and said, yeah, it's just like that. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like that. Right. But anyway, getting back to, uh, that's what happens when you have cocktail with carriers. That's what happens when you <laughs> yeah. have cocktails with carriers. Right? Um, so going on to the uh, next question, the next uh, conversation piece here is, one of the things that sets Anico apart from every other carrier out there right now is the pension department. Yes. Um, there used yes. to be a lot of carriers that had pension departments, but they, 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 they separated out, and, and they're no longer part of the company. And Anico still does. Yes. And the reason that's really, really important is because you can call them, you can fill out a fact finder, tell them what you want, and they'll, they'll put together a proposal for the best type of qualified plan um, yes. planning for that client. And you do not have to be securities licensed. Uh, on any of it, right, right. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. they have a unique... Um, uh, unique, unique platform that you can offer investment products to your client through those channels without being securities licensed. And you might say, how can you do that? Well, it's because of the way um, you're not actually soliciting or, or providing financial advice. Right. You're giving them um, a third party to ask those parts of the questions and to, to do the fact finding for that part. But you're just giving them the platform. You're, you're, re you're repping the platform, really, right? Yeah. What, what, what little known thing about the original Securities Act in 1934 is... Mm -hmm. Uh, you need a securities license only for products can be sold to individuals. So anything that can be that's only offered through a group, you know, a group setup or group plan doesn't require a securities license for you to earn a commission on it. Mm -hmm. And so for 401ks that we will work with the traditional uh, pension plans that are funded with our group. So there you go. You know, right. Our group variable annuity. Right. You need your a life license. Right. right. And uh, the investment advice, we work with Morningstar. So uh, Morningstar being that, you know, humongous third party expert in the, in the world mm -hmm. with that, uh, they provide all the investment advice to the business, to the participants in the plan and all this. And like you said, now you just, you just rep the platform and nobody needs a license for anything to know how a 401k works or any of the pension plans work. They're just tax code. So anybody can do that that wants to, right? And if you have, um, if you if you're out there and you and you don't really know how the 401k market works or the different types of platforms that there are and what would work best, what does Anico do to help on that level? Oh, I mean, uh, 
That's a tee up. They call that in the business. Well, that was a tee well, up. It's, it's <laughs> almost easier to say what we don't do than to right, list all right, the things right. that we do with it. So in house, like you mentioned, people other places broke them up over the years for whatever reason, right? And and we kept ours all together. So we design it at no cost for the folks, and it's all in house design. Prepare the proposals. We have um, uh, fill in the blank installation paperwork. So uh, and. It, our designers uh, with, I don't know how many alphabet soup things they have behind their name now, right, that will be there to help you. Uh, and you only need a couple of times you need to help with it to show the proposal to the business owners, mm-hmm. uh, to help you fill out the installation paperwork. We can help. I can help with that. We've done enough of them. And then the admin's done right Admin, there. That's the TPA part. Right, that's the, yeah. Right in-house, right? And so there's one place for a client to call, one place for everything to, to do the whole the whole plan. Prepare all the ongoing Every paperwork that has to happen. Oh, we do all that. Yeah. Right? They, the, 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 there's one report, and I don't know what the report is now, that the Department of Labor won't take from American National. We have to send it. We prepare it and do everything with it. We have to send it to the client. And then the client sends it in, and all they have to do is forward the email, mm-hmm. right? But we do all of that. And that's forever. the same with any platform. That's the same thing. That's and that's that's a department of labor yep. rule. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. So with that though, that opens up all kinds of other doors. The the other th- the opportunities that are created there are not only on the qualified plans and opportunities to speak to those business owners about other opportunities, but right now there's some things happening interesting in the country with regards to required retirement plans that some states are enacting, the savers, um, quote unquote, savers plans right. that some states and, and every day there's more and more states that are coming out with some more proposals on what they're going to do. Can you talk about how Anico may fit into that? Well, yeah, it's, uh, and we've been working closely now with the folks in California, uh, Cal Savers. Uh, well, and, and for everybody that doesn't know what those, those are, so uh, there's been some push now for the, several of the states to require that businesses offer retirement plans to all their employees. And if they don't choose to do that, then the state has a state-ran one. And we all kind of know how well states do within the federal government, does with money and all this, right? Trust us. Oh, yeah, trust us. Yeah, trust <laughs> us. We're here to help, right? And, <laughs> and, and so the different states have different criteria, like California – if you have as little as five employees, you have to offer a plan. Mm-hmm. If you don't offer them a plan, you have to sign them up with Cal Savers. Maryland, uh, which is the next one that's coming out that we're working with, is uh, if you use a payroll service. Now, I haven't seen the definition of that, if that's in-house for you or if it's like an ADP or a paychecks or something, you have to offer them a retirement plan. And if you don't, you have to sign them up for Maryland Savers. So it's a forced retirement plan. Even California's, you don't even get a tax break. California's, it's a Roth. So they're just trying to force people to put money away, which is not never a bad idea. Don't get me wrong, right? But they 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 consider the the, the owner you now one of their own employees, right? And so the owner has to sign up for the program as well if they don't offer a plan. And uh, in virtually every every scenario that that we have at American National, if if the business owner will take a moment and actually. Uh, install a plan, put a plan in place for their employees, the business owner has five, six, seven, ten times the amount of contribution and so forth that they can make to the to their own retirement plan as, a, as opposed to being confined by the state one mm-hmm. and and much more flexibility in it. And, and Steve, for the, for the cost, I mean, the average plan is maybe it's six, seven hundred dollars to install the plan mm-hmm. and then uh, Twelve hundred dollars a year. I mean, roughly now, and, and to to administer it, and for that little cost, which is deductible anyway to the business, yep. the business owner gets the world as opposed to exactly. the to the plans, you and then customize it to what the business uh, owner wants as opposed to what the government tells you. Right, right, exactly. And then and then when you're doing that, like you're saying, right now, what else does that business owner right. need? Right, when you're in there and you've solved that problem for them, mm-hmm. now you're back asking, you know, how's your business continuation plan? Yeah. Right. And discussing the things that, that matter with that business owner and all the employees that maybe you've enrolled in their plan or if they didn't do a plan, you've had access to to, right. to talk to about their personal planning. Right. right. All that happens. So many agents and advisors are not in that business. But here is with what's happening with this legislation, whether you like it or not, it's coming. And with that, it's an opportunity to be out ahead of it. Out ahead of it. Right? Because there's going to be people knocking on all those business business right. owners' doors. Yeah, Craig, my VP, was just up there with uh, with an account and uh, getting out in front of the Maryland part of it. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and uh, the business Maryland hadn't announced it yet, so this was kind of new to everybody. So you you're first to know, right? Uh, and none of the business owners had any clue it was coming. They they're they, you know you know how business owners are. They're yeah. in they're in their business, running right their business, and they had no idea. Right. right, and we're handing them the flyer and saying this is happening, this is coming, and it just opened. Everywhere he went for those two days with uh, with with that uh, agent, it just opened doors everywhere. Right? Yeah. Yep. Well, again, that is for those of you that haven't worked in that business. Is there anything that Anico has on the website or or that you that we can provide that has training on that or um, discussions on that? Oh, yeah, tons. Um, Gosh, uh, yeah, I don't know how to tell you to get there with it now. You know, hover over, uh, if you hit our website, which you don't have to log in to even look at it for anybody that's not appointed with us yet, don't worry about that. Just uh, He did say yet, so I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to be now, right? Uh, you hover over products and services, and right over here is pensions. If you're on the website, when you're looking at the way it comes over here, and it's uh, right under pension department, it's uh, get started. And when you click that, it opens right up to its own window, and all the marketing materials – years of presentations from the the, the, the the pension department are in there and uh, e- e- every too too much information now for folks all at once right yeah. but it's all right there in front of you right sure is so we've talked about the return of premium um, signature UL guarantee yeah, guaranteed you and we talked about the opportunities with the pension department but then also with the savers legislative mm-hmm. opportunity with things that are changing on that front yes so getting back to the real basics of it is, um, Anico, for those of you who haven't looked, um, great, great portfolio of living benefits mm-hmm. on the and, and on, includable on all their products, including term. Yes. And one of the things that makes the term so attractive and as uh, attractive in this sandbox, so to speak, is taking the cheapest term out there available. There's still top two, three, four, five terms rates with living benefits compared yes. to the companies that have none of those. Yes, correct. And plus, you can convert to um, great products on the, con- on the every, conversion every, options. Are every, every, totally every one of our products is available for a conversion. Unlike some of the companies that, you know, assume you're sick if you're uh, yeah. upgrading and converting your, your term to a select couple of products, that's, that's not how we approach that, right? We open up the whole portfolio for you. I was just talking to an MGA the other day that said, you know, they use a term quoting engine and, you know, Anico doesn't come up at the top. Thing, are, are you nuts? Are you not? You're missing the point. Well, they, they don't know which ones have living benefits. Right, then, exactly. Right? They right. don't. None yeah. of those. None yeah. of the ones that were above it had living benefits, and for Correct. literally less than three dollars a month difference between the top and the fourth, three dollars difference. One, you get death benefit. You, you die. You get paid out. Or one, you have a critical chronic terminal illness that has all these other options. Yep. And that's the most important thing: options. Yes. Death benefit's important, but death benefit alone is leaving you open for all kinds of situations that happen in life. Well, we, we, Alliance talks about it a lot, and we talk about it a lot, at least I know I do with the groups I work with, of you know having that permanent policy and then just stacking the term right on top of it because mm-hmm. it's so affordable, it, 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 it almost doesn't make sense not to, yeah. right? I mean, to, uh, to do that. And then you've increased your, your total face amount. You've increased the access to living benefits that you have. Yeah. And, and you got that flexibility to upgrade it when you want. So if you ever do want to make it permanent, you want a whole life policy? we got one of two that has living benefits in the industry. You want a fixed UL? Well, rates are coming up a little bit. That might be cool, right? You want an IUL? You want the GUL? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dial it to where they want. Dial it with what you want. Yep. Right. Yep. And it's not, you know, a one size fits all. You, you can pick out what fits. And like we said before, it can be a combination of. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. And, um, you know, the one last thing that I wanted to make sure we talked about, and this is something unique that I recently, you know, I've been working with Anico for probably close to 20 years on yeah. in different capacities. And this is something that apparently has been around a long time, but I had no idea. And when I heard this um, recently, I was with you in um, Memphis. I know where you're going. And I was like, I, I, would, I heard this and I was like, what? Did I hear that right? Why don't I know this? And I'm sure it was because like everybody else, we get busy doing what we do every day and we put our blinders on. Right. So tell me about the ART, annual renewable <laughs> term, where you're going. Yeah, the right. conversion options on that. And this is like, this is something I'm going to say this out loud and it's going to sound, you're going to think like, well, he's already been at the, uh, at the, uh, the, the cocktail hour too drink, long. Drink, here. Drinking the Kool-Aid, right? <laughs> drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> we'll take a drip, drink on that one. So this isn't just the bourbon <laughs> talking, but they do have a term that you can convert to a term. And how many times have you met with a client? They say, well, can I convert that to another term? 
And we say, well, no, that's no, not, that do doesn't it. exist. Right. It does exist. It's it does like exist. the unicorn in, 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 in the insurance business. Right. But can you dive into that, the applications of that? And then also talk about the yeah. ART compared to the 10 year term. Oh yeah. Well, uh, gosh, the, the, to hit you where you started mm-hmm. now, it's, uh, our ART, uh, is allowed to be converted in the first three years, right. To our 20 or 30 year level premium. Right. Term, and yeah. level premium term now first three years. And if you go from ART to any of the permanent stuff, anytime you want, just like the rest of our products. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, and then the applications of it. So uh, many times. Right. So how many times has everybody? Well, you you've been in business, you know, you know every, we all have for a while. How many times have you had a client that needed a, a flat extra on for something that pushed yeah. the price out of their price range, maybe, or just made it what, not what they wanted to afford, right? They, they went from Jesus walk on water rates <laughs> to, oh, I forgot to tell you about that heart surgery two years ago, right? <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right, exactly, right. They went, so the, a flat extra they need to wait out or, yeah. or maybe they're, um, Maybe they're, they're, they're nicotine users of whatever kind of smokers, right? We're going to quit. I'm going to quit. Going to quit. And yeah. when they saw the smoker rates, they went, oh. I, I often tell people, I'm like, smoking will kill you, really? And it'll kill you from an insurance standpoint, too, for the price of it, right? Yeah. And, and any, any of those conditions, even anybody that uh, is, is intending to, to slim down, right, uh, and they're built and so forth. You know, <laughs> perpetually. <laughs> always looking for doing it, right? So any of those things that would run a, a, a 10-year, you know, price too high or a 20-year price too high or whatever, if that client's really serious about quitting smoking or, got those, or has those flat extras or, or any of that, you can, you can – Placeholder. You can, you can pivot them into that ART and that – you know, as you all know, that goes up just a little bit every year. So it's, it's, it can be and is normally considerably less in the first year, two or three years. And so if they quit smoking, you can come back to American National, re-rate the client as, the, as a non-smoker, and then upgrade them even to the term if it's within the three years, the permanent if they want to. Uh, the same thing if they, if they, if they slim down and, and maintain their weight and so forth, you can come back and get them re-rated then upgrade them either to another term or to another permanent product. Uh, in, in, any of those scenarios that you guys have more practical application as than I do of, of thinking, oh, I had that client, you know, uh, too many driving infractions that give mm-hmm. us a two and a half per, you know, flat per thousand for three more years until they're just outside of it, right? Well, get them in the ART, it's affordable, and then we can, that'll fall off and you can get them in the other products and just, and just upgrade them with us, right? Yeah, so it's a great way because – so many of our clients, they're going to quit smoking. They're going to lose the weight. So they do nothing because they're going to do this. Hey, let's just place mark this. Let's get this, right? It comes and, with living benefits and, and everything, right? And if you quit smoking, great. We'll, we'll, re, we'll re-examine you. Mm-hmm. We'll get you non-smoking rates. Yep. But if next year you're still smoking cigarettes, then at least we have this in place if something else changes. Get or, God place. forbid, if you have a critical chronic terminal illness or or worse. Worse. Um, the you know, worst thing that can happen. Yep. So it's a great placeholder to lock mm-hmm. in something yep. at a very, very inexpensive. It might even be... Less expensive than the level amount. Oh, oh it, it, yeah, it, it, most every it, time is. Yeah, yeah of course yeah, yeah. it is. Right. Yeah. Right. And so it's a great thing that if you're in that situation, you need uh, uh, pull something out of the hat to make it happen. Mm-hmm. Here's a great. Well, let me show you one more option. And and here's a great way to keep that client. Well, we, we, we all know the worst thing is to go out uh, and take an app and they 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 no 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 you or you know on the app nothing's going on and it comes back and then you're. You don't have an option or you go out and then they say, well, this has been going on. Mm-hmm. And then you in your mind, you've been doing this long enough. You go, oh, I'm leaving here without an app. <laughs> right. And yep, yep. you don't have to do that now. Right. Oh. With uh, with our folks. Yep. Right. Yeah. So with that, um, you know, there's a lot of unique things that Anico has that nobody else has. Mm-hmm. And if you're not looking at Anico to these things or if you you're pointing with them and you've kind of forgotten about this stuff, we hope that this is a. a reminder that gets you back on track. Um, great company. We have Michael Harden as um, our point person on the marketing side um, from, from the home office, and, and he does a terrific job in helping with whatever you need. If you have a, anything you. Um, from the quoting perspective from, um, you know, he has a team back at the home office that can help with that as well. But if you're just getting started, need some help getting up to speed, um, you know, let, let him know, let us know, let your upline know. Yep. And um, Late, latest technology on the website now for all that type of stuff for, you know, all the e-apps and all the quoting stuff, everything, everything you would need for that. And a, I'll call it a crazy amount of information in the back office that you need for uh, placing your business and working the business from the agencies that are out there with this. 
uh, all kinds of information in the back office. Now you'll be uh, you'll be very happy with it. I've been working with them, with them now for like fifteen years. For them, seven, right? And you might not have wanted to be in in the beginning now with them. And uh, I've watched them come a very long way. And as a as the company rep. I brag about the back office and I don't know how many wholesalers out there that do that, but I know what ours is like and it is very good now, Steve. It really oh, is. That's yeah. good. Yep. So with that, I'll leave with one quick story about underwriting. When you have somebody that doesn't <laughs> quite come in like you, like you thought, I, I, and this isn't my story. This is another one of our agents told this story once that he went on an appointment with an, with an, with an agent and, and he'd run all the numbers and uh, he originally ran them all at preferred. But when he got there and saw the guy and, and, and he came back, he came back table rated and he went to deliver a pretty size, pretty sizable policy to get him to sign off on yep. it. And he sees the guy. He's like, Holy smokes. How did you have me run this guy to prefer to begin with? He was a really pretty big guy. And he came back. I don't remember what the rating was, but let's say table two or, or table two or table four. That's a big difference. And the guy looked at, he was ready to <laughs> sign off on everything and, and, and pick up the, get the check and deliver the policy. And the, and the guy looks at it and he says, everything looks good. He says, but I can't help but notice this number is a lot bigger than the original number that you showed me. <laughs> it sure was. And um, on the way there, the agent that I knew and the other agent, he, he, he said, well, what did he say about the premium increase? He said, well, I haven't talked to him about it yet. And he says, I'll, I, I'll talk to him about it when we get there. So they get there and he says, this number is a lot bigger than the one you told me. And he said, oh, don't worry about that. He says, according to the underwriter, you won't have to pay it for very long. <laughs> <laughs> so with did, did he take it? <laughs> yeah, he took it. He, he laughed and he took it. Yeah, he took the policy. That's so, awesome. you know, that could have went either way. It could have gone either way, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, so with that, um, you know, our first episode of uh, Cocktails with Carriers. Cocktails with Carriers. <laughs> we salute you. We salute you. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Dave. Awesome. Thank you. That was great, guys.